welcome or welcome back to my television and today i'm doing another video let's talk about the title you know what's going on so let's jump right to this video So this is what I'm wearing. They said we had to wear like DSU apparel. And so now I'm leaving. I should have been left. I want to see the open house because I didn't get to see it last year because I missed the date and I was so mad. Now walking to Memorial Hall because that's where I have to go. Let's vlog this because it be, it be no videos on YouTube about DSU, so I'm gonna make it happen, okay? So this is where they gotta go for the house. <laughs> no, before, I gotta see this. So we come in. This is the open house. Look at this. Oh, the oh, room in there. Oh, that's cute. I need everybody to say yeah. Jersey. Look at him. Jersey in the house. Yeah, Look at my Yo, Breeze. Yo, Breeze. Breeze, can you give me some music? Right Twenty percent of all black graduates in this country. And you won't find, and I can assure you, you won't find another set of institutions that can only provide you a quality education but make you feel proud about who you are every day. You will never have to question, do you belong here? Look at them. Everybody they about to go, or they right here. Come on, face the stage. They going to teach them that dance, probably. Honestly, we're going to give them a raise. Students in the house, and they've got students in the house. <laughs> it's for you to come to an HBCU. Whether it's Delaware State or anybody, anywhere else. I already told you how necessary and important it is for you to make a commitment to yourselves, your families, and each other. And I told you that we need you to carry that burden of responsibility. So this call and response is called I am the voice. The call and response simply means when I say something, you say something. And I want your families to join in. You ready? You ready? Say, I am the voice. All right, all right, let's start it over. Let's start it over. I need some energy. I am the voice. I will lead, not follow. I will create, not destroy. I'm a leader. I'm a force for good. I'm a force for peace. Defy the odds. Set a new standard. Step up. Step up. Step up. Thousands, babies, make some noise. 2000s babies make some noise. 90s babies make some noise. My era, 80s babies make some noise. Anybody in the 70s, 70s babies. All right, we getting there, 60s. Anybody in the 60s? How about the 50s? Okay, we getting there. Anybody in the 40s? We're at, we're at 40s, anybody in the 30s, 40s, how old are you mama? Oh, she got it mixed up, she said she was born in the 90s. <laughs> you 78 years old? I have this our 78 years old. Yes. Is in the room. So clap it up for one more time. Yeah, Blake. Yeah. Blake. Hey, real quick. Because the students were so amazing on the call and response, Dr. Tony Allen has indicated that everybody in the building will be able to get in the football game today for free. Shout out. Yeah. 
resources for those who play an instrument or for those who sing. And so they're talking about the band coming. Right now we don't have the entire band, but we brought here today the drum line, which was voted number nine out of all HBCUs in the nation. And our dance team, The Elegance, is going to be doing something with them. So I present to you the Delaware State University Marching Percussion Section and The Elegance.
is about tradition. This started in the year 2000, and has been going for 23 years, and it's four versions of it. It's called the DSU Slide. So I need all my current students to come on out here. I'm not good. <laughs> is not only welcome to the stage, our Delaware State University Royal Court in the building. Make some noise. Good morning. How is everyone feeling today? Okay, that was better. Welcome. We are here to welcome you in the only way we know how. From the first state, a small wonder, we bring you greetings. From the only historically black college and university, an 18-year-old freshman, majoring in chemistry with a concentration of health professors, hailing all the way from the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, I am Malik Jenkins King. Woo! year old freshman, majoring in biological sciences with a concentration yes. in health professions, hailing from the prosperous city of Camden, New Jersey. Yes. <laughs> Mr. And Miss Freshman. Yes. You. I thought you knew. Hey, hey girl. This is number one, all right? It's me trying to learn it. Three, I already two, go there. Like, one, let's, let's go. Through. Run to the right. <laughs> run to the left. Back to the right. Back to the left. Right foot. Then slide. Left foot. Then slide. Then slide. Left foot, then slide.
So this is the tour guys, y'all. Oh look at that. Period. You see what I'm talking about. Oh. After you've done the green toes and terms and conditions, and you are able to access the gym at any day, at any point of the day, from the future and that on. That's free for any DSU student to use. We also have two dance rooms in there provided for any DSU um, student to use. Oh, Just this. Mr. Krabs is in there. <laughs> I didn't sign up to be a fucking videographer. Those are our communal style bathrooms, uh, which means you do share a bathroom with the people on your floor, but it is clean twice a day, the morning and the night. Me personally, I never lived there. Um, I lived in Towers, the honors dorm, but most freshmen do end up living up there. I would say from personal experience, the freshmen that come from Jenkins and Evers are the ones that always stay together. They are family, they are united. So, you know, it's not all bad, you know? Some people are not familiar with that uh, communal style. Me neither, but, uh, you know. I live in Tuscany. Speaking from experience, not nothing about that. In any of the buildings today, unfortunately, but, um, you know, I do recommend booking another campus tour on a personal level so that way you guys are able to go inside those buildings and see what the issue campuses actually look like. Today we're just going to be viewing everything. This side and y'all guys both share a bathroom. And then we also have the apartment side, which is on this side, going straight down. Um, mm -hmm. That could have two to three rooms with the kitchen, a uh, kitchenette, or in the living room as well. Okay, again, you can imagine that this building is new, so it looks really nice inside. If you do want um, a tour of that, I would suggest definitely booking a tour. I'm mean, recording her shit Wait, so the, she um, could look like something. Boy did, um, he said, stop. Look, look whole traffic, whole traffic. Public safety. Take it in your room, but you need your ID. Yep. If you don't have your ID, um, I would say that DSU is a safe campus. Simply yes. because we have a gate going around the perimeter of the campus, you cannot get on if you do not go here. Unless the campus is opened up for other students that day. So it is very safe. Um, uh, be going back, back to mountain to the RA and the ID perspective. Um, if you do not have your ID, again, you cannot get in the building. It's only exceptions. So like if you're received, such as homecoming, spring fling, welcome back week. Uh, I love DSU week and everything in between. Um, and so our job is just to keep the, the school engaged with different events, not just parties, you know, some educational, some recreational events. Um, again, student leadership is just another way for you to kind of build those connections further. And being a student leader actually takes your career a little bit further as well. I feel like without me being a student leader, um, I wasn't able to go half of the way I went already. So, Look at her accent. Do you do? So now we done the tours, and now we helping her print out her um, transcript. She can come to DSU. And my love, is vlog. Hey, how are you? This is where they do this. Do 